If a pattern says to crochet a foundation chain, make a bunch of stitches on one side of the chain, then rotate the chain to work into the back side of the chain, then that is really code for you need to make an oval. So all you need for that is your yarn hook and to make things a little easier for you to see where to put your hook next, I'd recommend using a stitch marker as well. So to create an oval, you first need to make a foundation chain. To make a foundation chain, you first need to make a slip knot. So take your yarn, position it so that the yarn tail, the cutoff part of the yarn is off on the right. Now you're going to loop that yarn once around itself. So now you got a loop and the yarn's crossing over itself. Pick up the right side of this loop and fold it over the yarn like the page of a book so that the rest of the yarn that's connected to the yarn ball is somewhere in the middle of this loop. Now pick up that yarn in the middle of the loop with one hand and take the cutoff piece of yarn with the other and pull the cutoff piece of yarn until a knot is formed. Here you have your slip knot. Now you're going to put the hook into that loop and you want to put it into that loop so that when you tug on the yarn connector to the yarn ball, the yarn that looks like it's moving is the yarn that's closer to you, the yarn that's on top of the hook. And you want to keep on pulling until the knot is right up against the hook. You want the knot to be to the left of the hook as well. And you don't want to make it too tight because you're going to need to be able to pull your hook through this loop, but you do want it kind of tight so that your oval won't have holes in the middle of it later. All right, now you want to get into crocheting position. So holding your left palm facing you, put your hook with all the yarn in front of it, wrap the yarn connected to the yarn ball once around your pinky. So now your hook and all that yarn is behind your fingers. Drape that yarn over your index finger and hold on to the knot with your thumb and your middle finger. Now I'm going to show you how to crochet an oval that started with four chain stitches. This is the foundation chain. So you want your hook in front of the working yarn, tip of the hook facing you. Do a yarn over by bringing the hook below and behind the working yarn and then pull that yarn through the loop that's on the hook and you have one loop left on your hook and that was a chain stitch. Ta-da! Now you're gonna just do that three more times. So hook in front of the working yarn, tip of the hook facing you. Yarn over by bringing the yarn below and behind the working yarn and pull that yarn through the loop on your hook. So you have, again, one loop on your hook. And I'm actually gonna adjust my yarn hand right now so that I have more control and my foundation chain doesn't get all twisted. I'm going to pick, let go of the slip knot and hold on instead to some of those V's I just made with my thumb and middle finger. So this way my new chain isn't gonna wiggle around. All right, I'm gonna yarn over again, bring that yarn through the loop on my hook for a third chain stitch, yarn over again bring that through my hook for a fourth chain stitch. All right, when I made this foundation chain, I kind of crocheted it in this vertical manner. But I'm gonna reorient myself so now it's horizontal. You can see each V I made is a chain stitch. There are four Vs. Do not count this last little nubbin that gets tighter when you pull on the yarn tail as a V. That's just the slip knot that you made. Okay, so now let us make the first single crochet stitch in this foundation chain. Whenever you are making the first single crochet stitch in a foundation chain, unless the pattern says otherwise, you need to skip the first chain stitch next to your hook. So I'm going to skip this V and I'm going to put my hook under only the back loop. So the only the back half of the second V. So it should look like I've got two loops on the hook. Then I'm going to do a single crochet stitch. So yarn over and bring that yarn through just the hole you just put the hook into. So you've got two loops on your hook now. Yarn over again and pull that yarn through both loops on the hook. 
So that was your first single crochet stitch. And I'd recommend pausing for a moment and grabbing that stitch marker and marking that first stitch. It's gonna come in handy later. So how you see that stitch, rotate your piece so that you can see, clearly see, this V that the loop on your hook traces back into. That is the single crochet stitch you just made. So put your stitch marker under that V. And now we know that this is where the very first stitch of the oval is. Great. All right. So for this oval made of a foundation chain of four chain stitches, we next need to make another single crochet stitch. So we need to put our hook under the back loop of the next available horizontal V, which is whoop, this one. Should be pretty obvious to see because there should be probably a big hole where you just crocheted your first single crochet stitch. Don't worry, that hole will get smaller soon. Okay, so do another single crochet stitch. It should look like you have two loops of yarn on your hook, yarn over, and bring that yarn back through the hole you just put the hook into. So you have two loops on your hook. Yarn over again, and bring that yarn through both loops on the hook. Now the pattern probably says that you need to put three single crochet stitches in the next stitch. So in the next horizontal V. And look how my horizontal V is really teeny tiny. That's actually pretty good because it'll minimize the chance I'll have a hole in the middle of my oval later on. But I just want to point that out to you because you might be questioning where to put your hook next. It is indeed going to be under the back loop of that teeny tiny V. All right, we are going to put three single crochet stitches in this exact hole. So here is the first single crochet stitch. And I can see where that hole is after I make a single crochet stitch, because if I look at the loop on my hook, it traces back into two other loops. The loop that's closer to my yarn hand traces back into a hole that is expanded because that is where I just crocheted into. So I'm gonna put two more single crochet stitches in there, a total of three single crochet stitches. And notice how actually my piece is starting to rotate naturally. When I first put a single crochet stitch in there, I was kind of holding my piece this way, nice and horizontal. But because it's getting crowded in there, my piece is starting to rotate by itself, which is a good thing. That is what we want it to do. Okay, now comes the part that trips people up. We are now going to work in the other side, the back side of the foundation chain. So we have rotated the foundation chain. Remember how this orange stitch marker used to be off on the right? Now it's all the way off on the left. Now we need to find the back loops of this foundation chain. So I can see there's this hole because of all these single crochet stitches I just put into this hole, which means the next spot that I want to put my hook is in the next unworked front loop of the V of the foundation chain, which is this one over here. I want to do a single crochet stitch again. And then to finish off this initial oval, I want to put my hook under the next available front loop and the next unworked front loop from the foundation chain, which is this one over here. So I'm going to put two single crochet stitches in that hole. So now, as you can see, I've got a bit of an oval shape. This oval is made up of three single crochet stitches on each end and one single crochet stitch in the middle. 